Hey everyone, thanks a lot for joining us. We're back at the wilderness shelter and it's that time of year again where we get to wear our sexy little outfits. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us on this video. We're going to be spending the night. We brought a bit of extra gear so uh, we're going to be planning on tenting out. Unless the weather changes, uh, we might get some high winds so that might dictate what we do. But the plan is to spend the night. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks a lot for coming along. So you might be wondering why Mike and Sandra are pulling a sled in the fall with no snow on the ground. Reason being is we want to gather a lot of moss uh, to start uh, putting up on our roof. Hopefully we have time to do that uh, this weekend. Um, we don't want to gather it right near our site because it's, it's quite pretty. But there's plenty of moss here. There's no shortage. So uh, this will allow us to gather uh, a lot of moss and we'll be able to lug it back and forth from our spot where we're collecting to where our roof is being made. Apologies for the uh, plane flying by. Plans for uh, this weekend, we're finishing up our side walls. We're going to build them up as high as we can. We have uh, plans later on to fill up the gaps because there's going to be some at the top corners. But I'm going to go grab some logs out there with the axe and the saw, bring them over to Sandra. She's got her draw, draw knife ready to go. So uh, off to where we go. Okay, so for building up the side walls, um, we want to get uh, logs that are fairly thick. Uh, that way, obviously, it'll require fewer of them. Uh, so, uh, plenty of dead standing. This one seems like it should be okay. Um, the only issue with uh, getting these larger diameter logs, it takes a lot longer to saw through. But, in the end, it's, uh, it's worth it. So, we're going to take out the saw, cut this one down, and we'll check it out in the center. Uh, it may be rotted in the middle. Down here I can tell it's really rotted. So up here it's not so bad. So we'll give her a try. Just wanted to get that one out of the way. One down. Made myself a little mark on this uh, stick here. That gives me a gauge to build the wall. So 
this log, even though it's really rotten at the bottom, nice and firm there, which is great. I'm going to bring this down to camp now. I want to make sure that my measurements are right. I don't want to cut a whole bunch of logs and turn out to be wrong. So I'm going to bring this down and then come back and uh, junk the rest of it in uh, the proper length. about perfect so uh, so the measuring stick seems to be right so we're gonna keep working along and get a whole bunch of them we need to bring it up at least with one two three four five at least five more to bring it up to even and we're gonna try to bring it up a bit more so probably around six or seven more each side a lot of loxy cut uh, so we'll bring this one over to processing for Sandra a lot of fun jobs for you, Sandra. I'm waiting. <laughs> Nice. Uh, about two more times that many. Okay. Yep. Three more times that many. <laughs> I can I can work on that. <laughs> oh. Fine. How's it going with you? Good, I'm just gathering up some branches for the fire. Oh, good idea, good idea. Yeah, we're gonna need to start the fire soon. Yep. Okay, this tree I've been limbing, I don't know if you can see at the top there, there's some greenery. This one uh, recently fell, probably within the last uh, two or three weeks. So uh, it's going to be perfect for our sidewall. I've already limbed most of it. I'm going to cut it into length. It's going to give us pretty much everything we need, I think, to uh, build up the uh, two walls with the wood that we already have there. So now I'm going to cut them into length, bringing them over to Sandra for uh, her to 
keep peeling away with the draw knife and uh, hopefully this is going to get us uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have time to put it all together tonight probably not because uh, it's starting to get uh, late in the day and we still have to set up the tent and cook up our supper but at least we're going to have most of the wood all we're going to need extra is to get the spikes and then we can start building up our sidewall While I was out uh, chopping the trees and getting the logs for the woodshed walls, uh, Sandra was gathering all this great kindling. She did a fantastic job. That's a great mix. So to switch things up today, Sandra's going to start our fire and I'm going to put up the tent. So we'll see how she does. I'm sure she's going to do great. She started these fires before. See how she does. Your sticks are too big. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I think we're gonna have a supper tonight. Nice. That was best. Good job. Uh, I hope I don't burn the burgers. What's that? I hope I don't burn the burgers. <laughs> Maybe I made too much, too good of a fire. Go. Tent is up. The thing I like the most about this tent is the coverage. It goes all the way to the ground, so it gives you a, a whole bunch of coverage, and uh, that makes it ideal for all seasons. That and the heavy-duty metal poles. The other tent that we had, the MSR uh, Hubba Hubba NX, it would have been perfect for tonight. It, it offers a lot of coverage. Same thing, but it's hunting season. We want it to match, so we took out the old winter four-season tent. Should be a comfortable night. Safe? Because it's orange. Because it's orange, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully nobody's hunting at night. Well, you never know. <laughs> 
Yeah, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Rebuilt wall. Oh wow, it's a lot warmer in here. I always forget how much yeah. heat this keeps. I'm always amazed at how much heat this thing holds. Uh, I mean, there's gaps in between the logs. There's a big open door there, and the difference in temperature from here to right there is amazing. I know I'm somewhat close to the fire, but still, I mean, it's keeping a lot of heat, which is really, really nice. Awesome. Maybe it's me. My nice blaze orange <laughs> vest. Maybe I'm keeping you warm. Well, maybe that's what you're a, you're a hottie right now. Yeah? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm pretty warm too. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's my nice fire though. It I definitely mean. is the fire. That's yeah. it. Well, it could be you too. Uh, but but, but, but it's, <laughs> the fire is definitely helping. Combination. So uh, we've gathered most of the wood that we need for both walls. Uh, we just need to finalize the spikes and do a little bit of peeling. Uh, Sandra might want to. Uh, keep doing some work tonight she mentioned it uh, but uh, tomorrow hopefully the rain holds off and uh, we can get these walls up I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far we got burgers on the way we got the tent set up it's gonna be a fun evening I think so yeah. cheers beat sitting on the couch at home mm. although I love sitting on the couch at home <laughs> <laughs> it's less work <laughs> yeah that tired me out today the sawing and all that, but it's fun. It's fun to be out here. It feels great to be out in the woods. You probably feel you've accomplished more by being here than sitting on the couch all night. Yeah, mm -hmm. possibly. I don't like wearing this. I hate this. Yeah. Uh, necessary evil. Oh, your buns are toasted. <laughs> ah, nice. Just put it on the rock. Voila. El cheeseburger. Oh man, it's so good. <laughs> mm. You don't know what you're missing. Mm.
There you go. Three liters. That fast. This thing is great. Probably make our bed before it really kicks off. Yeah. Should have brought a little tarp for our wood. Well, we got the big green tarps there that we want to pull out. Yeah, probably nasty. Well, one of them was not too bad. If you go look at them, you'll see which one. There's one that's not bad. Maybe I should have taken my cover. So we finished our supper and we put everything away. The tent is ready for us. We're just sitting by the fire here. We're having a couple of drinks. So the only thing we got left here are a few uh, uh, items that we're going to throw into a food bag and that's going to be going up a tree. The paracord's already set. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this little video series. We've had so many new subscribers lately. It's really awesome and it's really appreciated. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, again, uh, thanks again also for your comments and suggestions. It's a lot of fun talking with you guys. I really enjoy it. So uh, we're just going to sit by the fire here, listen to a few songs here and there, have a drink or two, and we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for staying up with us to this point, folks. Probably around, I don't want to say 11. Probably later than that, but time to hit the sleeping bags. We'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night.
Boleh je beli. So we had a great evening by the fire and a, a really good night's sleep. Uh, this morning got up and made a batch of coffee, just had an energy bar for breakfast, something quick and easy. And we're already off to cutting some wood. We uh, got some uh, pieces for uh, some spikes. Sandra's already peeling uh, the logs from the tree that uh, we had cut, cut down last night, we showed. And so uh, now I'm going to start cutting the spikes to size and we're going to start uh, mounting that wall. How's it going Sandra? It's appealing. It's appealing. <laughs> Doing a great job.
Ow. So I've made a fairly big mistake uh, in terms of measuring the logs. I initially thought that I would have the logs on the inside of the tree here, so that's why I was measuring them a bit shorter. I'm coming to realize now that I'd like to have the wall on an angle, and that's why I started building it, so that it would lean inwards a bit. And so it would have been nice if I'd had the logs longer and stick out on the sides here, so that way we wouldn't have a gap here. At this point, it's uh, a bit too late in the game to start cutting again so I'm gonna have to make do what we have it's just a woodshed so uh, it's it's fine we're gonna plug up those gaps but uh, yeah I wish I had to uh, cut these sidewall logs a bit longer some more logs? No more. those are gonna work with you for you yeah <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for bringing me logs. You're welcome. My pleasure.
So obviously it's far from perfect. I'm going to be trimming some of these pieces here and filling out the gaps. I might redo the top ones up here if they don't stick up far enough. But this is going to be it for today. As much as we can put into it. Like I said, it's... Uh, I know I said it before, but it's just to, to hold our lumber so that we have some somewhat dry wood for uh, when we're doing our winter camping trips here. So, Still some work to be done. I still got to finalize the roof. Got to do something to make sure that we cover those gaps there. Got a few ideas. So uh, a lot more work to be done. Uh, at least a couple of days work on this particular shelter. And once we have this completed, then we can move on to fixing up the main one. Uh, we're going to be taking out the, the bed and uh, clearing it out. Uh, we haven't been spending the nights in it because we have a bit of an ant problem there. So we're going to take all that out, clearing out uh, to make sure it's nice and clean. Also, uh, it's, the frame did shift a little bit. It's still stable. Uh, there's no concern there. But uh, just for uh, long term sake, I'm going to fix up the frame, make sure it's, uh, it's a bit straighter and nice and stable for the long term. So a lot of work to be done there. Like I said, we're going to be taking out the bed. And we're also hopefully uh, get a, a full kind of insulation type system. So uh, while we're going to be using moss for the roof of our woodshed, we are going to be hopefully covering the gaps that you can see in between the logs there. We're going to be uh, getting moss for that as well. So a lot of work to be done. It's going to be tedious work, but uh, I think it's going to make a huge difference come winter time once we can uh, plug up all those gaps. Thoughts? Yeah, plug the gaps. No other thoughts? Peel the logs. <laughs> Peel the logs. Plug the gaps. Yeah. Get moss. Gather moss. That's uh, going to be a lot of work to be done there. Hello. <laughs> well, that's going to be it for this video, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're pretty happy so far. I mean, there's a lot of adjustments to make. Obviously, this has got to be all lined up correctly. And I'm uh, going to fill out the gaps as best we can. But uh, for a little wood shelter, I'm pretty happy so far. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. It's so appreciated. I hope we see you guys again next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>